Hey y'all, it's Xander here, and today we're going to be going over some forbidden techniques in old school RuneScape. This episode will be covering the one tick rune crossbow to Jamal. And no, I'm not talking about you shoot a bolt and then the next tick your Gmall goes off, or your Gmall goes off and then you bolt afterwards. I'm talking about full three hit stack in the same exact game tick. Now let's take a look at a typical day of Bounty Hunter and what I experience. In this clip here, you can see that my opponent is Murder Nova, um, level, combat level 69, plus five levels over me. And this person is definitely no noob to the Bounty Hunter scene. We definitely know how to PvP, how to tank, and how to one tick. I can see straight away in this fight that my opponent will be trying to drop spec early. So I'm immediately on the defensive. Every bolt that he drops uh, is queuing up the Gmall, ready to spec in case he has a big experience drop. Try not to stay within one tick range too often because that can be easy to die. And right there, you can see my uh, the opponent drops a dragon fire bolt. I immediately triple eat, but fortunately for me, it was not a huge combo. Easy tank. I see 125 experience bolt. Boom. Then this is what I run into. As I'm looting my kill, I get the PM. You know, one tick with rune crossbow. Hmm, that seems suspicious. You know, this is what I run into time and time again. People just PMing me reported. People just PMing me, yeah, you're banned. You're using, you know, an illegal spec bar plugin. You're AHKing. You have it. And that's why I want to make this video today. I want to divulge and explain how this combo is possible. It's really not that hard to pull off. And I think most people should be familiar with it in 2020. I notice here that my opponent is five levels lower than me. So just for banter, I say, well, I can probably one stack him out. Let's go for the one stack. And I see that my bolt is high enough for me to go in. So I queue up the Gmall, drop the spec bar, and boom. So now let's play that clip back and talk about how can you perform this combo. And I think it's easy to look at this combo in a series of five steps. The first and most important step is the distance between you and your opponent. I find this is most reliably performed when there is exactly three tiles in between you and your opponent. The second step in this combo is just bolting your opponent. The third and probably the hardest step is equipping your granite wall in the same tick in which you bolt your opponent. If you're late to perform this, uh, your spec bar will not appear in time and you will not be able to stack the granite mall hits with the bolt in the same game tick. The fourth step in this combo is clicking on your opponent as soon as you've equipped your granite mall. This lets your character aggro onto your opponent again after bolting and changing a weapon and easily let you double click the spec bar and the spec will immediately go off. Finally, the most satisfying step, just double clicking the spec bar. If you perform this combo correctly, you should immediately spec your opponent as soon as you double click the spec bar, uh, barring how much you're paying to get back. Now that we've broken all the steps, let's take a look at all five put together in real speed. You can see I set up my distance, Go for the bolt, immediately equip the granite mall, click on my opponent, and then hit the spec bar, and boom, full combo. Now let's take a look at what happens when you casually use this combo and the bounty hunter. So you can see in this next clip here, my opponent is Tenormous, level 64, uh, seems like a decent skilled PKer. Drop the good luck, good sportsmanship, and we're right at it. I can see right away I'm, I'm having some good experience drops, could have maybe gone after the combo there, and I do, and definitely a chance. Good hits, could have been better, but it looked like my opponent ate at the same time, so dropped a nice out of respect. He says close, I'm like, nice. Um, as I'm typing, I see he pulls out the granite maul. Not the easy one tick combo, it was more like the two tick. I was able to get the eat and drop some banner back and forth. As you can see, two seconds later, my opponent drops the question, UAH King, and nope, not in any way, but this is kind of what people assume when they see this combo. Now let's look at a few more examples of this combo. Uh, I can see my opponent is Rats Fam. We were having some unhonorable fights back and forth, some spec tabbing. You can see my opponent is 13 Prayer Fire Cape on Scold, not really risking much. So in this next fight, I decided to go for spec right off the bat. You can see here when I pull out my crossbow, I'm not exactly three tiles away. I'm a bit farther, but I did get the huge experience drop and decided to still go for the combo. And you can see it still performs the one tick stack, even though I'm at, not at the specified distance. There are some alternative scenarios where you can still perform this combo, even if you're not at three tiles away. So feel free, feel free to experiment and see what you can come up with. 
You can see in this next clip here, my opponent is zero skills, level 68 combat, and I believe that's 31 prayer with the fire cape. So definitely be hitting some high hits at the granite mall, well over 30, possibly 32s. You can see we dropped the good bucks and we're right at it. So right off the bat, I'm trying to stay within uh, the one tick combo distance, I'm trying to feel out my opponent, uh, you know, do some fake switches into the granite mall, maybe bait out their spec, see what his gameplay is. I'm not sure if he's going to go for, you know, just a regular insta granite mall combo or what have you. Just trying to fake out my opponent, and then I know he pulls out the granite mall. So I go for the E, and definitely not the best combo by my opponent. Um, I was actually confused. I didn't see if that was a full spec or only half, so I asked the question. But I believe that was the full combo, just instead without any other hit. So it kind of looks strange, just the, the double whack stack. And now you can see I have the opportunity to drop my spec. So I'm trying to drop bolts whenever I can. Queue up the granite mall, and there it is. 121 experience drop, and boom, 28, 26, 17, full combo. In this next clip here, we're going to be looking at how far can we really push this combo as far as distance between you and your opponent. I see that my opponent is a looter, so I pot up, get my quick prayers ready, and just try to drop an arrow and then go for the full combo. Right click, and as soon as the arrow drops, switch to the ruined crossbow, get swung around the tree, see a huge bolt, and just go in for the one tick. And look at that, huge distance between my, me and my opponent. Now let's look at other ways this combo can be used. Uh, I personally love to use 50% uh, of your spec in this combo, so only one granite mall whack. This is awesome because some people can't tell or don't catch if you used your full spec bar or only used half of it. Uh, additionally, this gives you two separate chances at killing your opponent if you do it right. And immediately after that, you see I dropped another big bolt, so I decided to go in, use 50% spec, and total flop, only a two granite mall. You can see it's getting close towards the end of the fight. I'm running out of food, so I have to drop the spec soon. Hopefully my opponent won't be ready. Not the biggest arrow, but I decided to go in. Again, not the biggest bolt, but I go in anyway, and huge 28 smack. That's my max hit. The opponent drops the question mark. Clearly, he was caught off guard. Probably didn't think I still had a special attack. Ironically enough, he has pretty much full food, even though I was nearly out. Now let's talk about how is this combo useful in melee range. Typically, when you perform this combo in melee range, or like within one tile of your opponent, it's a two-tick combo, and that can be okay sometimes. So the key to using this combo is to just queue your granite mall after every bolt. Yes, it will most likely be a two tick, but if you go in on a big XP drop, you can still catch your opponent off guard. You can see here my opponent's about 40 HP. I dropped a 16 arrow. I know this is a good opportunity, so I dropped the bolt. Huge 133 experience drop. Going for the two tick combo, 31 18 stack. Only needed 50%. Uh, definitely wasn't ready for that. Didn't type, didn't say anything. Definitely a good fight. Now let's talk about using this in the true full combo. So the true full combo as I call it, or as I see it, is the one tick rune crossbow to granite mall, and then you throw in an additional whack on top of that. We drop a good luck, and you can see that I'm immediately on the offensive. My first hit was a 21 arrow, and I know I could go in right away, but you know, that's kind of bad manners. So I wait, give one more arrow, and then drop a bolt. I see it's good enough for a throw, so I go for the combo wasn't huge hits and he was able to tank it so then I get ready for the extra whack. The mall came in clutch, I dropped a third to the forehead. It's easy to tank, he knows that so he drops the lol. Now let's take a look at how this combo performs in different movement scenarios. In this instance our opponent has the ruined knives. This combo is super fun to perform when your opponent has the ruined knives because you can use the animation delay to your advantage. As your opponent comes towards you and throws the knives and then backs up and does the animation delay you can go in for the combo and essentially get a few extra squares. You can see in this clip here, I dropped the good luck, have fun. Make sure to always have fun when you're playing PvP. Super important. Right off the bat, as soon as I get a large arrow, I'm just dropping bolts, seeing if there's a potential to release this combo, and essentially just waiting, biding my time until I do get that big bolt. I see that my opponent is sitting at about 50 hit points, and even though I get a small arrow, I still decide to go in. I use the Ruin Halberd switch to confuse my opponent, Drop a bolt and it's huge, so I perform the full combo. Uh, luckily, my opponent is, is backing up from the animation delay of the ruined knives, so I'm able to stack from a further distance than normal. And you can see the 2930 stack just drop him to his knees. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I know at the moment my quality is not premium, my mic is shit, my webcam is shit, 
my entire setup is shit, but I'm still out here trying to get clips, trying to create videos, and to put out content for y'all. Nevertheless, I thought it was extremely important to make this video. Every time I play, I have people PMing me, people asking me in-game, how can I perform this combo without cheating? So I felt it was necessary to make this video to showcase that. This is totally a viable mechanic that can be used in many different ways. It has so much utility, so many versatile options, and I think more people should have this in their PKing tool belt in 2020.